Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I think this is episode eight, maybe. Yep. Of my let's play one. Guys, we need a name for my llamas. They're here. We need names. Otherwise, I'm. Wait, we should call this one candy. Yes. Candy. Uh, uh, sunshine. We just need a name for this one. So we've got candy and sunshine. We need to name this one. So leave a comment with your name for this llama here. And I will pick one. And it will be the name of the llama. That wasn't English. I need to have some name tags as well, so I need to go fishing at some point. Uh, or exploring or whatever, but you can get name tags by fishing. But that kind of leads into what I'm doing in this video, because over here, I want to build a little fishing hut, and that's also going to be where my fishermen villagers go. Um, and I'll probably steal them for the village over there, so I might go steal them from over there if they're all not gone. <laughs> Again, English is on point today. So that's where this is going to go. This is going to have a path going round. I'm planning on putting a big map wall here on the back of the chicken cooker. And around here somewhere, I'm going to have my cartography villages. Um, because cartography villages go with maps, right? Oh, there's turtles. Hello. Oh, wait, no, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Stay there. Do I have silk? No, I don't get broke. Okay, bye turtles. Never mind. I was going to. Oh, they're gone anyway. Don't worry. That's what I was saying. Yeah, so here is going to be where my uh, fisherman hut is going to be. And I might have like some sort of pier going off either in this direction or the direction where I can go fish from. And then hopefully I can get some name tags to name those guys over there. That looks like whack-a-mole over there with that llama. I also need to build an enchanting table. Uh, I might do that under my house. Um, I did go mining. Did a lot of mining in the, like off camera. Um, I've got some more stuff in this chest down here that needs to actually be smelted. So if I put that one in there, we've got lots of Lots of iron, lots of lapis, and we've got some diamonds now. So I'll actually put up on I think we've got seven of those in the last episode, um, which actually gets us into this. So Steve Costello, I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry if it's not. Uh, they said best reaction to finding diamonds. So I'll put on screen now what my reaction was. I was quite tired that day, so it, like I wasn't really bothered that there was diamonds there. More interested in the fact that I was in a ravine. But yeah, here's the reaction to me finding those diamonds. I'm at level 15, so hopefully I'm going to start finding diamonds soon. attention to the word hopefully. <laughs> I really hope I do because I need some desperately. Oh there's some over there. Oh is this a this is a ravine. Nice. And I also did a bit of strip mining. Um and my friend actually helped me. Uh, with the beginning. Um, so thank you to him. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine. It's really loud and annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, so we found quite a lot of diamonds. Um, I'll put on screen now a little kind of montage of us finding them. I found a double vein of diamonds as well. I believe there was about 12 or 13 ores there. And that that was good. That was really good.
think I found like three things, but then one was a double. It was either two or three. Two. I'm not too sure because I don't remember how many diamonds I had. Anyway, I also got more ancient debris camera. So, on our way to getting netherite. Slowly. Slowly getting there. Uh, I need some more food. Take those. I think we also, yeah, we got like loads of coal as well. So, I think I'm set for coal and torches. Uh, but what I want to do now is maybe. I do need to make a storage room, guys. This is a bit. A bit chaotic. But yeah, that's not what I'm thinking. If, if I use dirt, I need some gravel so that we can do the paths. Okay. So if I use dirt just to lay out where I want this fisherman's hut, then we can get started on that. So I think if I have the door. Do we have the door on gravel? No, the door's actually on the thing. So, it starts here, and then go around here. I could do like a little bit of terraforming just down here. Um, that is a really noisy washing machine. Sounds like there's a helicopter in here. Um, yeah, and then we bring it out just a bit more. I've run out of dirt. Just use more dirt than I thought it was gonna. It's gonna be quite a small place. I'm only gonna have like one or two fishermen villagers in there. Um, yeah. I do apologize if it's like the helicopter in my living room. Because the washing machine is over there in the kitchen and being really noisy. Um, lesson learned, don't put some washing on just before you start a video. There's going to be some sort of L shape thing. Maybe have a little pier going out here. Is that right? Um, I can have my two villagers here. They need a bed, so their bed can go here. Uh, they can stand on their bed and then their workstation can go here or they can be at the front. Perfect. I'm going to have some storage and stuff over here. Um, and maybe over... We put the... Here. Here, actually. We can have some storage over in this corner too. Yeah. I think that will be good. And then we can have the cartographer over there with this path leading to that. Yes, that's what we're going to be doing. Let's um, let's put the path around here heading over to where the um, what's this called? <laughs> Nether portal. Oh, no. Heading to where the Nether portal is. There we go, and then put some gravel in here. Put them out and some more. I think that looks alright. Um, yeah, so for my paths, I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys before, but I'm just using gravel, and then uh, when I've got a block, I've just put some andesite stairs because I think it goes well with the gravel. Um, but let me know what you think about that. I will be decorating, putting like some leaves and stuff along the path. I might do that in this episode as well, actually. Depends how much time we have. I need to put something up there because that's a bit plain and I don't like it. So let's put this back and get started on building the... It doesn't, go in there. It doesn't really go anywhere, to be honest. We should just shove it in there. We'll get started on building that fisherman's hut over there. Okay guys, so this is just a little progress update. Um, as you can see, I haven't finished, but I've got the main shape of it done. Uh, we've got some storage here as you walk in and some more storage over here. 
this will be where the two villagers go in here they've got enough room so that they can stand on their beds and i probably put a half slab or something up here so that they can't then jump out um, and I'm planning on having like a ladder up here and having a little loft area up there with some more storage. Uh, the pier going out here. And obviously a roof that fits in with these two. I have like a little porch thing at the front as well. Um, and I'm planning on putting an ice cream with a fish on it just so I know that's the fisherman's hut. I might do the same with the, um, with the chicken cooker actually. Um, uh, Put chicken in an item frame. I could put it here or something. Yeah, I'm going to do that actually. Um, so I will be back once again once this is completely finished and then we will go and get the two villagers. Okay guys, so I've done the... Um, this is going to take me ages. I have got um, rails over there but... I ran out. Oh god. You stay in there. Yeah, so I ran out of rails, so I'm just taking him by boat to the rails and then I'll shove him in a minecart and then I need to come back and grab another one. But um I'm hoping this goes well. I've got a bed on me in case it becomes night time. Although I don't mind if they become zombie villagers because I will be doing that at some point to, um, where are my rails? Over here. So I will at some point be making this, uh, making a zombie infection chamber sort of thing so that um, I can infect them and kill them again to get better trades but for now I don't want them to become infected because I haven't found a fortress just yet. Sorry guys I'm just digging through this mountain so I can bring the boat through because you can't go up blocks in a boat so this is what I've resorted to. Get them the first little bit in a boat to over here and then put them in this minecart. So let's try and get this guy across this bridge without falling off because if I fall off then game over. Should be alright because it goes really slow. <laughs> He's like, where are you taking me? Okay guys, I'm gonna time lapse getting these two villagers into the fisherman's hut and then I will show you what I've done. I don't think we're gonna have enough time in this video to uh, do the enchanting area so we'll do that in the next episode. Yeah like I said I'm just gonna time lapse this and I will show you what I've done when I get back.
Okay guys, so I am back. I've moved all the villagers. Uh, you'll also see in the time lapse that I've decorated the paths a little bit. And I really like these. Um, I don't know whether to change the grass around the paths here to... No, sorry, the sand around the paths here and over there. To grass? I'm not too sure. I kind of like it, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, yeah, I've put some, got some leaves about and bone milled the grassy areas. I quite like it. I've also added the item frames like I said I would and I named the item so it says what's in there. So chicken cooker and this is the fisherman's hut. Uh, the roof's a bit of a weird shape just because of the uh, layout of this building so I wanted to be able to walk around up here which is why the roof had to be like this and the roof here was too long to go up. Um, but it goes up a little bit here because of the porch I've got going on and the rest of it is just like that. From the back the roof looks a bit more normal, I'll show you. There we are. So you can kind of see what I mean there. If we go back around the front, um, I am leaving these, I've removed the rails from inside and over here but I am gonna leave this because I do want to make a villager breeder at some point so I will need to take two more villagers from that village so I'm just gonna leave the rail rather than having to place them all back down again because that was a lot of work um I just want to make a better sugar cane farm maybe an automatic one or something um yeah but I think this is coming along quite nicely I'm loving how uh, this is what I've done in here, so out here is our little pier where we can go fishing. Um, there's a drown there, let's go back inside. Uh, we've got some storage here, some storage over here, oh I missed a rail. Uh, we've got our two villagers in here, we need to give them names guys, comment in the comment section what we should name our two villagers. Uh, they've got a bed in there so that they can sleep. They didn't need a workstation in here so they didn't need the barrel in here because as soon as they got close to this building they became a fisherman because of all the barrels and up here we've also got a lot more storage i am just going to change this one round because i think i like that one that way so this is what i've been doing and got my two well, first two villagers again just comment what we should name those guys also comment what we should name the other llama. So we've got uh, Candy, which is this pink one, Sunshine, which is this yellow one, and this one here. Uh, let me know what we should name it. That llama is still bobbing up and down in that water. I am going to get rid of it because it's annoying me. I'm not going to go in there to get that leather because there is a drowned and I will die because I'm on one and a half hearts because I kept falling off this roof when I was building it, which is brilliant. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, then guys, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I hope you are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying filming it. And I will see you in the next episode, which will be episode nine. So yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.